Thank you, Honorable Speaker, sir, for permitting me to participate in the budget discussion. Sir, I rise to join my esteemed colleagues to express my appreciation to our Honorable Chief Minister, Sir Conrad K. Sangma, to you, sir, for presenting this state-of-the-art, ambitious, and inclusive budget 2022-23 on this August House. It is indeed a proud moment for all the people of the state as we are celebrating the 58th year of statehood. We are also witnessing a vision-packed budget to see visible and tangible progress. Thus, the intent and seriousness of this government is crystal clear, which is trying its best to live up to the aspirations and expectations of the people to bring the change, which used to be a popular slogan during elections. The change for the betterment and all-round development taking along all sections of the society, all stakeholders in the process of the wills of change. It is observed that this budget is pro-people, focusing mostly the economically backward group that, are, that is farmers, entrepreneurs, and the youths. For the first time in the history of the state, this government has presented a gender budget, a youth budget, and a sustainable development goals budget, which in itself implies a unique approach for furtherance of progress and development. I am truly thankful to the government for such initiatives. I don't feel to dwell uh, upon the technicalities of the budget, as many of our friends have already dwelt at length on many important issues. However, having said that, I would like to dwell on few pertinent issues, mostly relating to my constituency and to urge upon the government through you, sir, to consider and redress the matter appropriately. Let me start with the road sector. During the last four years, tremendous transformation of road connectivity and upgradation of bridges have been witnessed, have taken place all across the state, be it PNDSY road, rural roads, or state roads. This year, budget put special impetus on the road sector, allocating rupees 1,770 crore, which is a positive step indeed. I would also like to tell the House that Selsela constituency have also been benefited in few major roads for which I am thankful to the government. However, it would be unfair on my part, sir, if I fail to draw the attention of the minister in charge through you, sir, regarding AMPT road, a stretch from Rajabala to Garubada via Halliday Ganj. The other day, during governor's address discussion, my friend MLA from Fulbury has spoken about the good part of the AMPT road. But today here, I am narrating the bad part of the AMPT road. The condition of the road is so pathetic that one cannot imagine that there exists a road. Sir, this road is a lifeline for the people of my of 
many villages, both from hill sides and plain belts, and location being on the interstate border of Assam, their threats and other business activities are being affected adversely. Majority of the residents of this part are farmers, porters, small-time business traders who require to commute daily to different markets. Therefore, to ease the difficulties and woes of the people, I implore the government through you to consider this road on priority before the monsoon sets in. In regard to health sector, emphasis is being put on health infrastructure with targeted amount of rupees 350 crores, total allocation being 1,617 crore for the entire health sector. Health is one of the main indicators of development and therefore to reach out and to strengthen health systems is a welcome step for providing better health care. To bring the health care system to the doorstep of the people pay or the patients, more sub-centers may be open. Permit me, sir, to apprise this house that Selsela being one of the largest in area, Selsela CNRD block, I mean, and population having uh, more than population having more than 1,59,221. We are uh, having only one CHC at Selsela proper, one referral PHC at Jeldupara, and a few other sub centers. Considering the distance and growing population, pending proposal for PHC at Bolbokpre, PO Bajamara, and sub-center at Chambagre, where all the formalities required at the district level have already been completed. May I kindly, uh, may I request minister in charge to kindly expedite it early. May I also be permitted to inform the house that Kasyabari PHC was constructed way back in the year 2011-13. Sorry, I uh, could not get the correct year, but it was somewhere ten, more than 10 years ago. But it was never commissioned. But thanks to pandemic, during the first wave of COVID in 2020, as there was no government building available for COVID center in the area, the premises was identified to convert it into a COVID center. And the major renovation and other construction works, electrification, water supply, so on and so forth, has taken place uh, to make the building and the premises fit for COVID, uh, to make the COVID center which in the process has been very useful and helpful to the government. You have two more minutes. There are two points to be <coughs> made out from this submission, sir. Firstly, in spite of the fact that the contractor has carried out an excellent work in a record time, during such calamity, no payment has been made a single penny by the concerned department. My request to the minister in charge, through you, sir, to kindly do the needful as soon as possible. Secondly, Khasiyabari PSC needs formal commissioning, which in fact is a long-awaited dreams and aspirations of the people of the villages in and around. So I urge upon the Honorable Chief Minister and the Minister in charge through you to kindly fix the day at the earliest possible time to inaugurate this PHC. Next, I would uh, like to dwell upon the education which is a subject very close to my heart. Education is a powerful tool and driver of development and one of the strongest instruments for reducing poverty and improving health and many other problems. My sincere appreciation to this government for its endeavor to give best education and to improve the standards by 
providing infrastructures. The government has allocated very generously for school buildings, upgradation of rupees more than 200 crores. However, I'm sorry to state once again that almost every government and ungoverned schools are not fit for children to go and study. Thank if you. I may suggest, rationalization of teacher pupils ratio is the need of the hour. You may wind up now. And maybe examine as uh, early as possible. Few points more, sir. As the other, uh, there are schools, I will just touch upon the points only. There are schools which have enrollment uh, below 10, 20 children also, as per the UDI's report. So, rationalization at this juncture may be taken care by the government. The government has announced setting up of 39 Eklavia model residential schools in the state for which I am proud of the government's initiatives, but Selsela has failed to find a slot here, despite the block being one of the largest in area with high population, but lowest in literacy rate. Yet again, the idea of the government taking higher education to the doorstep of rural population by setting up of people's colleges is much appreciated as it will definitely bridge the gap between the rural and urban students' community. I may be permitted again to draw the attention of the government through you, Speaker Sir, for consideration of setting up a people's college in Selsela, also since all the parameters required are fulfilled for setting up of one such college, availability of land, building, and I may be permitted to say that once upon a time, this college was initiated by none other than our Honorable Chief Minister along with a group of uh, well-wishers, uh, and but now it has uh, become defunct. So sir, I would request you to take up this college uh, under People's College, Community College, or whatever college you want to call it, but I want college for Selsela. Madam, can you please? Since the endeavor of the government is to improve the governance and administration. Last point, sir, this is okay. very important. Yes, please. Since uh, uh, wants to bring the governance and administration uh, closer to the people, I feel that awarding the, uh, upgrading the Selsela CNR block to a full fledged civil subdivision will be a great reward by this uh, government to Selsela constituency because this is the oldest block from erstwhile go uh, Assam government. So they deserve, the Selsela block deserve to be upgraded to full-fledged civil subdivision, sir. So this is my earnest request on behalf of the people of Selsela to kindly consider this on a priority list. Thank you. I have so many more points, but due to constraint of time, sir, I will restrain myself for submitting that. But since all the other friends have already submitted uh, to all these uh, points, whatever submission I have made, and hoping for the positive outcome, I resume my sit. Thank you, sir. Thank you.